This week's episode of the Deck Chair and Young's podcast is brought to you by TomState.com. If you are looking for one of the greatest comedians that nobody fucking knows who he is, <laughs> go to TomState.com forward slash why the fuck have you not went to see his show yet? Get on it. Nev, play the fucking intro. What's up, motherfuckers? Okay, welcome back to this week's episode of Deck Chair and Young's Podcast. As always, Mickey is down under, footering. <laughs> Dicky. <laughs> Mickey's down under the table. Yeah, like, here he is right now, hey. <laughs> So instead of Mickey, we have brought in uh, another uh, excellent comedian uh, yeah. in, the, in the form of Mr. Tom Stade. You're very welcome. How are you doing, Connor? I'm glad to be taking over. This is my second taking over to the side of the job, man. You have, you've been, well, you've been with us for, before, but only in audio because... Because we didn't have money back then. Nobody didn't have knew money. what the fuck was going on. Yeah, and uh, it, was yep. be- it was before your plastic surgery. Exactly. You know, so. <laughs> we didn't want to show people that. Yes. <laughs> you were still drinking then. Yeah. No, well, <laughs> hey, don't start, man. I'm still drinking. I'm just, I'm more selective about it. That's all, man. When I go, I, I go. But yeah, 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 yeah. Try it. The, it's... Uh, I, don't, I just don't want to end up like Mickey. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't, he does. No, like, like Mickey's awesome and he can drink. But as soon as the last time I saw him, I was like, dude, you got red splotches on your fucking face, man. Like if your liver, that's your liver just punching you in that fucking head, going slow down, Mickey. And Mickey's like, no, I got this one, man. No, Mickey, Mickey was like, no, 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 I'll go and I'll, I'll go and get uh, uh, some frog poison. Yeah, that'll cure. Did you hear that story? I have not. I, you Mickey know what? Went. Believe it or not, Connor, I've not kept up, kept up with the bar. Oh, you're not, you're not listening every week? No. no oh, can you believe oh, that? I'm, oh. I'm fucking my wife a little too much. Nah. <laughs> you know, but that'd be kind of cool. Hey, babe, let's fuck to, to the to Mickey the and Connor and podcast. podcast. <laughs> fucking, for some reason, I can't get a boner. <laughs> Turn this shit off. I need to hear Mickey talk about frog spawn. <laughs> Oh, Mickey, went, I, Mickey went in, uh, to the, uh, the middle of the mountains somewhere in Donegal slash okay. Derry and met a guy who told him he could cure his skin conditions off the coffee here. delivery. Don't worry. Interrupt this. Interrupt. Don't fucking, worry. No, yeah, all good. It's worth it. Okay. Rock and uh, and Mickey went and got uh, literally like a poison from a frog. No, what was he licking him? Is that what I don't think he had to lick it. I think he had to, I don't know. Mickey tells a good story about it. But yeah, it's called Cambo. Okay. Uh, and uh, it's to help. So instead of giving up the drink or the cigarettes and that stuff, he thought, I'll, I, I'll cure this with a frog. Okay. Of course. <laughs> of course. It's a natural thing you know, to think of. Of course. Like, yeah. like, fuck, fuck, fuck Western medicine. <laughs> fuck Eastern medicine. You know where my cure is? <laughs> I'm fucking hammered. I'm a little bit hungry. Let's see how fucking that frog tastes. Of course, man. It fucking makes sense to me. And anyone who doesn't do that, you're a fucking idiot. Okay? They're so, My, ma- but they're, I, so I, they're so mainstream. I just have to unpack that whole story just a little bit. So, first of all, before we even go, you said he went out in the middle of the mountain. Middle of, of nowhere. Donnie yeah. Gall. Yeah. Like, on his own. On his own. So he didn't go out, because I know a lot of dudes, whenever I hear them going out in the middle of the mountains, I know they're going to meet some fucking shaman. That's... And, and then, you know, go into the fucking spirit world <laughs> while they're listening to Indian drums and then decide that they're not going to watch porn anymore. <laughs> That's what some guy said when he crossed. <laughs> that was their revelation. Yeah, that yes. was their revelation. <laughs> I was like, well, don't, I'm not doing that if... <laughs> Because I like porn. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't want to know why I don't like it. <laughs> okay. But so did Mickey go out there and Mickey do went one out of those? And got one of those and got the treatment. And uh, he knew. tells the full story. And obviously, that's, well, yeah. Well, let's fucking, we still haven't done unpacking this one. Because <laughs> it fuck Mickey. This is yeah, for everybody. Yeah, this is so, so in Donegal, yeah. there's some crazy bitch that knows how to make a some, whole bunch of cool drugs. Some guy, uh, a, some shaman, guy. a shaman. A shaman. Or okay. shaman, yeah. yeah. And uh, I love how they're called shaman now. Shaman, yeah. <laughs> wow. And they, and they should be shamed. Yeah, I think they're called drug dealers <laughs> where I'm from. But I, I think it's cool. Like, don't get me wrong. I love like shaman 
means that you're very spiritually enlightened. Yeah. <laughs> Drug dealing means I know how to make acid in the basement. <laughs> okay. So so these guys, just because you're in the middle of the mountains, it doesn't mean you're an Indian fucking guru, okay? But okay, so so he went up there because yeah. he wanted to do all the ayahuasca oh, no, and oh, all no, that. No, it wasn't. It was just this frog. It's called Cambo therapy, and because he had the skin condition, that's oh, what the red there's splashes. A frog. There's the frog okay. actually has some sort of I don't know poison or whatever it is, and it's mm. like a a dart of stuff. I don't know. Okay. But anyway, Mickey tells the story, and uh, okay. But my, my point is that's where Mickey goes. And instead of thinking about maybe stopping the drinking, yeah, maybe like, oh, well, try it. I heard fasting is pretty good. Because <laughs> also, yeah. Mickey's kind of fat. Oh, we can't I, say that I, now. I, he is fat. Yeah, oh, yeah, he's fat. totally fat. He's actually I'm, not now. He's in Australia this last two months. He's lost quite a bit of weight. Oh, did he? Yeah, okay, he's, good for he's, Mickey. He's training. He's ready for the boxing. I in, know this. Uh, I was June. already on his fucking nemesis. Oh, you were, you were on, oh, you you were on the, his, his opponent. I'm a comedian. I'm doing <laughs> podcasts because this is the new talk show circuit. <laughs> you know what? Fuck TV. Yeah. This is where it's at. I, and I truly believe that, by the way. I well, yeah. truly believe that. For instance, you couldn't say fuck TV on TV? Of course you couldn't. No. You know what? <laughs> TV, th this is what I'm learning, man. I'm learning the kids, Connor, they always, they told me, do you, do you know this is new media? And TV is like old media, man. Mm -hmm. And nobody fucking, the future will not be televised. <laughs> that is what the kids said. The future will be podcast. Though. <laughs> so there'll still be racism and sexism and misogyny, but it'll all be on the internet now. <laughs> Gil Scott Heron is now writing the sequel to the song. <laughs> That's how old us guns are. Yeah. We know Gil Scott Heron. We know Heron. Gil Scott Heron. Fuck you, Spock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's... That, so So Mickey's lost a bit of weight. Mickey's well, he's, he's toned up a little bit. Okay. He, 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 how uh, did, uh, did, okay, let's go even back. So when he licked the frog, right? Yeah. <laughs> when he licked the frog, because I've only known licking frogs, like the last, I think, I remember... <laughs> Like, not that I'm, let's make it clear that I'm not an expert at anything. <laughs> You're and not I, a frog licking yeah, expert. I'm not a frog licking, but, you know, it sounds cool. <laughs> sounds actually kind of sexy. <laughs> <laughs> man, fuck, I lick pussy and frogs, <laughs> And I'm done with pussy. <laughs> I'm going to hop on over to the frog. Okay. So <laughs> when he lit the frog, did it cure his face? Not a fucking thing. No. Fucking thing. <laughs> now he's got a tongue infection because <laughs> he fucking licks the frog pussy out in Donegal. It actually proved how dead. You know what? Licking frog pussy. You can do that in Donegal or France. <laughs> No, you're eating it in France. Oh, yeah. You're, you're, you're licking it. <laughs> and I hear the French frog pussy tastes pretty good. Uh, so, yeah, he was, he was desperate, obviously, if you go to meet some guy in the fucking forest. Wow. You, 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 you'll try anything. But it's cleared okay. up now, and it's all, yeah, he's all fresh. That's good. It's all man, fresh. But, do. yeah, so he's... You know, he's, he's, he's lover. You know he's in love. That's, um, that's that. That's why he's. You in know Australia. what? This new podcast should be called "Let's Talk Behind Mickey's Back." Oh yeah! Oh yeah! yeah. I love Absolutely. this idea. Do you know why? Do you know why? How did he fall in love? I, I don't he's know. He's marrying the toad. He's marrying the toad. <laughs> the good thing about this is Mickey doesn't listen to this. Okay. Because if Mickey's not involved, Mickey doesn't care. Okay, I get that. <laughs> so we can say whatever we want. Mickey'll okay. not watch it. <laughs> cool, man. So who? So Mickey? Mickey's in. Did, yeah, he's. Did, did he's I met just a, catch that one right. He's met a he met a beautiful girl, uh, Taylor. A bit and, of a uh, girl, a be like, beautiful oh, girl. Oh, okay. Sorry, like a girl uh, with one leg and she's got cancer and <laughs> three quarters of yeah, a woman. Two quarters of a woman. <laughs> she's got cancer and I promise to live with you till death do we part, which will happen in two months. <laughs> That kind of usually the way his relationship goes. Uh, that's but no, he, uh, he 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 went before Christmas. He's been away for like uh, maybe six, eight weeks so far. Okay. But and then she was here for a while. So yeah, the two of them are. Oh, yeah, where's she good. from? Is from she Perth. Oh oh wow! My yeah. stretch of the woods. Yep. Yeah, my my up in Scotland and all that. Is that right? Perth is in Scotland. Perth, Australia. Oh Australia! Oh, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, I'm way out. That's not even close to my neighborhood. <laughs> Like, 
That's how long I've been in Scotland. I, in my head, I thought, are you... In Scotland. Yeah, in my head, I was thinking, do you gig out there or something? Yeah, <laughs> fucking gig in Australia. I get it now. <laughs> they always fall in love with the Australians, don't they? Every fucking... I don't know what it is, yeah. Everybody I fucking met. Arge Barker, Mickey Bartlett. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> two. Two, two people. And, <laughs> all the, I'll remember some later, okay? <laughs> I told you, I'm not an expert. Not even in my own life. I'm pretty ignorant. So so he, he met some Australian chick. Yeah. She comes out here. What does she do? Do we know what she does? She's a comedian. She Well, she's oh. a, a, a new uh, up-and-comer. Like oh, that up relationship will last. <laughs> an up-and-coming. Yeah. I'm fucking my opener. <laughs> that should be the name of his tour show. Yeah. I'm fucking my open act. You betcha. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure she's funny. <laughs> She's lovely. She is actually. Yeah. I've never seen her do a stand up, but yeah, she's she's uh, she knows she's new and she's ten minutes and you know. That's all. Yeah. But he, he's yeah, he's genuinely happy. He's, he's good. So we're we're just all praying. We're all praying that he comes yeah. he comes back and returns. Oh, that's good. Uh, but yeah, he's he's definitely coming back for June for the boxing. We know. Oh, that for okay. Sure. But he wants to stay out in Australia. I don't. I don't think so. He's he's because uh, that's the dumbest move in the fucking world. Dude. Yeah. That's like oh, let's move out in the middle of fucking nowhere. <laughs> And do cruise ships and barely survive. <laughs> yeah. And every gig I got to drive to, it's 15 fucking hours. Smart move, Mickey. <laughs> My buddy John Lynn moved out there. <laughs> How's that going for you, John? You used to have gigs you could complain about. <laughs> now you're like fucking he, doing yeah. cruise ship shit. He's, in, uh, he's currently in Adelaide. Oh, okay. So he's went across there, and he said Adelaide is a fucking ghost town. There's nothing happening. Yeah. But he's he's gigging every night. But they're like compilation shows and stuff, you know. So yeah, yeah. I think he's going to be. Back. I think I think Adelaide is overstretching their comedy. It yeah. used to be good. It used to be good when people had like lots of money and shit like that. But yeah. now everybody's like fucking 2024. Yeah. Nobody has fucking <laughs> no. When you start hearing. Fuck, what is it? The financial, the, we're having a crisis? What's the crisis? Recession, yeah. No, not recession. That's from our time. Yeah. Now oh, and you want, uh, we, we're in a recession. Oh, last, last, we? last week, we were officially in a recession now. I thought they were calling it some oh, sort of Oh, the fucking cost of living crisis? Cost of living crisis. <laughs> that's which is actually, also known as recession. <laughs> which is technically just a green crisis. Yeah. <laughs> People are like, we don't know why our bills have trebled. Mm. And then... The energy company's profits have trebled. Yeah, weird. It's a weird that correlation. Happens. I don't know how that works. <laughs> weird. Tough. So strange. Only the tinfoil hatters could make a, a uh, connection there. Just, I just hope the billionaires are going to be okay. I think so. I mean, you know, they are the ones we have to worry I, about. I've already said. The, uh, most, the most vulnerable in society, you know, yeah. uh, the billionaires. Because <laughs> what happens if they're not a billionaire anymore? What if they go down to just 999 million? How's the trickle down effect? Yeah. That? What's, what's the knock on effect of the economics? <laughs> Of fentanyl, when <laughs> when a billionaire loses a million, it's terrible. It's it is horrible. I said, I well, I sent Jeff Bezos a card going, "I hope you're going to make it. Uh, this will be my last message to you because I'm going to die in two hours." But oh. my last dying wish, yeah, my... is to know that you're secure. <laughs> Yeah, Please, totally. Jeff, let me know you're secure. Fucking hilarious. <laughs> oh man, man. That's, that, that, there's a bit there. A fucking. Uh, 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 did you know the way they have the the, the uh, Oxfam advertisements on TV? Uh, Help me in. You know, like a, like a, 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 a plea for money for like a, a Sudan or oh, yeah, Africa yeah, yeah. or Ethiopia. Course, you course. I've the, never done. Can you imagine the? Uh, no, no, neither do I. But can you imagine the advertisement for the? The per billionaires. <laughs> please, uh, do, please donate some money. These guys. <laughs> this these billionaire guys. now cannot afford his helicopter. <laughs> his helicopter hasn't left, left the ground in three months. It's not even can't afford his helicopter. It's like he needs to jazz up his helicopter. <laughs> Jeff Bezos needs to buy gold fuzzy dice. <laughs> and he doesn't, he can't do it without fucking charging it to his tax. <laughs> Man, I love those. <laughs> speaking of helicopters, wait, uh, wait, you, wait. Oh, just, well, speaking of helicopters, you heard about the Devonish last week in uh, the the strip show. Oh, I'm sure, of course, I'm sure you were talking yeah. to. Actually, you were. I on, met one of them. You I met, met one, one. You met one of the is, pleasure boys. This is how 
hobbit I am, man. Okay, like, like just so, and when I say that, just so you know, mm -hmm. I'm a hobbit that's left the Shire. Okay, <laughs> like my Shire was like in Quinell, British Columbia, which I love, and there's a lot of fucking hobbits back there, <laughs> fucking fucking each other and listening to ACBC still and like sounds like a place, I, it, sounds actually, like a place I want to go to actually <laughs> cool. yeah. but I left the Shire and and it, it always blows my mind because I met I met so many crazy ass people on this mm -hmm. journey like fucking mental like I'm going to Dublin and and the fucking lead guitar player from Snow Patrol is coming to my oh, fucking okay, yeah. show Great. Okay, yeah. old Nathan and that man yeah. so I meet all these cunts and, and it always blows my mind so I walked in it was the first time I was here starting our tour, mm -hmm. which is still going on. <laughs> um, TomStaten.com. My agent always goes, you never promote your show, Tom. <laughs> Got a new album on Spotify, too, if you yes, want to actually, check yeah, that out. For free on Spotify. Okay. Go and listen to that. So it this never blows my mind. So everybody, I'm oblivious to what's just happened. Yeah, okay. So I walk into the studio, and Big Cock Emmett is there. This guy... <laughs> Is that like, his official name? Big I think it's what I said. Because I already told, I walked in and fucking, for fuck's sakes, man, the guy was Adonis. I get it. Yeah. I get If I look like that guy, my pants would be down every fucking day. There just, would be no pants? Yeah. <laughs> just walk into Poundland and point my cock at something and some chick would buy it for me. Put on your pen number and the thing with your cock just dink. <laughs> this guy had to be fucking bigger than my arm, man. Because so I saw it. I saw the. You saw the, the videos then, yeah. Because right. Patty, Patty, this is the Mud Blood podcast. Was yeah. uh, had one of the Pleasure Boys, the UK Pleasure Boy, and then yeah. the Canadian Pleasure Boy. Yeah, together. You uh, bet. Well, we weren't on the same show. Oh, you weren't on the same show. Oh, but okay. we tusk, we fist bumped. Okay. And I didn't know he was the stripper then, but I was just sitting there going, "If this cunt's on the podcast, I'm gonna look fucking ugly." Like real ugly, you know what I mean? And I don't. Oh, like... so that's why you come on this podcast? Yeah, no, yeah. You were you were you were fine coming on here. Like, I don't know what that. Bring like. Mickey on. I'm still the prettiest here. <laughs> but if Emmett shows up, we're guess fucked. What? We're Literally, fu I'm fat. <laughs> I'm fat. So um, yeah, so he comes in there, and we fit up, and then he told me about all that yeah shit that mm. good but tell me what you were saying because well, i know yeah. it's our thing on. was yeah i mean it's it's we talked about it and everybody has uh, talked about it to death but it's like i heard it in a charity shop dude <laughs> in in fucking port leash Jesus yeah they're Christ. like did you hear about that whatever they do the turkey tree and all that and they were talking <laughs> about the strippers and they they were actually a bit disgusted and i was like what the fuck? this well, so this is the thing and i was explaining to your beautiful wife trudy last night yeah. that there there's still a bit of a conservative christian kind of cloud over ireland <laughs> over ireland yeah over north and Northern south ireland. north and south because you were in port leash so that's the south they, yeah they, and they were not about, so much as, okay they were about they were a bit british but so i was trying to explain and this is so hard to explain to people who like trudy who's from you know canada whatever and lives in scotland even because scotland don't have the rules we have right so on a sunday you can't shop you can't buy anything in a shop until 1 p.m okay and now this doesn't count your normal shop that sells milk or bread they're allowed to open okay but the shops like argos or next or those one o'clock but the fucking mental part about it is they'll open the doors at twelve thirty. so for half an hour you're allowed to browse <laughs> like at twelve thirty, you might know exactly what you want and you walk in and you get it you have to stand for 30 minutes <laughs> with your item until I'm you're allowed so to leave to say and i'm trying to listen without <laughs> interrupting yeah, for you're legally allowed to buy it until 1 p.m wow because you shouldn't be buying yourself a jumper you should be praying in the church right that's the reason for the law okay <laughs> that's how far behind we are <laughs> yeah welcome to 1950 <laughs> like i get that this island is so fucked up i love it I love it. <laughs> it's kind of that fucking creepy. If the world were a family, <laughs> Northern Ireland is that creepy uncle that tells you about God, but also probably fucks his kid in the basement. You know what I mean? Um, like, like, 
like when I when I heard about it, okay, <laughs> when I honestly heard about it, I could not believe because it was what you were saying. Like Trudy was explaining what you were saying yeah. to me in the car that the strippers and the podcast yeah. and they all come together because it's not really about a big cock. No swinging in mm -hmm. a thing it's about freedom yeah absolutely. of speech and yeah. not being held under the thumb yeah. of fucking religion and we, we which is by the way <laughs> it's it's like come on man like who's fucking religion that's other fucking... than maybe my grandma who's oh uh, well she's dead now but she was <laughs> before she died i get it if you're like about to die yeah go religious but who, nobody wants to be religious at fucking 20 oh, or, this is, i don't even want to be well i'm not religious this is anyway fucking way this all. is ireland man we we, we uh, this is what you call uh, indoctrination of the highest order but i also <laughs> heard you were pretty progressive because you just got a catholic first minister <laughs> Like the rest of the world's got lesbian, black, trans, and you guys are like, "Hey, we got the Catholic guy. He's not a Protestant guy. We're moving. Welcome to the slow lane." That's yeah, absolutely. When you think of it on, on the global scale, oh, it's like it's headline news that we have a Catholic first minister. I know. Not, and, not even the fact she's fem she's female. It's just she's Catholic. I didn't even know she was female. That must have blew everybody's mind too. What? <laughs> Tits running the country? This is crazy talk. <laughs> in fairness, Shooter! In fairness, there's been many tits fucking running this country for a while, but that's all there. <laughs> <laughs> many tits running this country. But yeah. Uh, but, and then, plus, I also understood that nobody worked in the government. No? Like, for a long time. Three years? You had a government and nobody showed up. But got full You know who would have been proud of you there? The Spanish. <laughs> Spanish when it went, we're lazy, but that's just taking it to a different level. That's a three-year siesta. Yeah, that was a three-year siesta, baby. Full pay, full yeah. wages, everybody got paid. Wow. Never turned up for So that years. was their COVID. Oh, yeah. That was that, their, yeah. That was like, <laughs> they were, fucking, and they didn't even get locked down. No. They, just enjoyed they were it. working from home. Wow, <laughs> man. We paid those cunts to mm -hmm. do nothing. Nothing. I would be outraged. I you should like, be because it's your taxes as well. It <laughs> is my taxes. I live in fucking Scotland. <laughs> Paid for you lazy cunts. <laughs> Damn, man. And now they're back in? Or now they're they... back in, uh, yeah, but uh, we'll see how long that lasts. But, okay. So yeah. we have a female, uh, Michelle O'Neill is the first minister, and then Emma Penge Little Pengelly is the deputy. Okay, and from... what, what group are they with? Who so are, Michelle what, is, what is Sinn Féin. I always love this shit. Sinn Michelle Féin. is Sinn Féin, which is the Catholics. And then okay. uh, uh, and who are Emma the Catholics? Are the Catholics the, the dudes that hate the British, or are they the British? Yeah, I would, yeah. well, that, if you were going to go down that side, yeah, that's their side, yeah, that's the IRA side. Oh, that's Sinn Féin's the IRA side. Well, we're not allowed to say that officially, but yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> okay, I don't care. I know you don't care, I, I, I fucking know, do. I don't know it's my IRA guys, they were cool, man. They it's didn't okay. hate me. It's okay if you, you can fuck off back yeah. to Scotland, I have to live here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> All right, shake, shake. <laughs> Uh, so the other, uh, the deputy first minister is okay. uh, DUP. DUP. They're the weird ones. They're the, yeah, they're, they're the weird ones. They're, they're the ones like, you guys even know about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, they're yeah. the real Catholic -y or uh, whatever religious, religious one. Religious one, yeah. Yeah, they're totally religious. But they're Protestant. They're the ones that helped uh, the other government in England, yeah. in England yeah. fucking do their shit. The and Brexit all and all that shit. Yeah, oh, all, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, guys. Yeah. But they, what uh, county are you from, <laughs> of? Try to avoid this is, that. This is how fucked up the scenario is. So I love your politics, though, because you know what? There's only two types of politics that excite me: <laughs> Northern Ireland and America. Everybody <laughs> else is fucking boring as fuck. <laughs> you know, like English politics is boring. <laughs> yeah. Scotland kind of exciting because our first minister married a Palestinian chick or yeah. something like okay. that, yeah. and now he's got to hate Jews for some reason. And you know, but but you guys have always got like something yeah. awesome going on. Awesome. You know, like for nineteen fifty. For nineteen fifty. <laughs> that's <laughs> what that, that's why comedy is awesome yes. still in Northern Ireland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I'm also learning do you we haven't what? even started telling mother-in-law jokes yet. Oh, shit. You're going to love them. They're <laughs> fucking crazy. 
<laughs> yeah, fucking, you're going to make the Irish Times. <laughs> How dare him talk about my mother like that? <laughs> my mother knows a scent. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I found out this too, man, because I brought a patty mm -hmm. down to Ireland. I didn't know like a lot of the Northern Irish comedians don't really go down to mm -hmm. Ireland that much. No. Right? Because what I found yeah. out, okay, like just on par. Well, in not, general, not, in like general, I yeah, would think right, that yeah. they would be there no. constantly. No. Do you know what I mean? So you're like Scotland in a way that Scottish comedians don't ever go down to England that yeah, much. You know what I mean? Yeah. So they're kind of trapped in their own little fucking country and mm. shit. But I went down there, right? So I'm saying, oh, yeah, I'm hanging out in Northern, with the Irish. Got the Irish down there think you cunts are British. Do you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. that's a really weird thing for when I first heard that. Though they think you're British, the British think you're Irish. <laughs> I think you're fucking Irish. <laughs> you guys are like in this limbo of what the fuck are we, man? Yeah. Like, you, you know, and it's crazy and I love it. You talk about cultural identity. Uh, we, yeah. yeah, we are, we are non binary. <laughs> we don't, <laughs> we don't, we don't know what the fuck we are. Non binary. <laughs> Totally. What the fuck are we? We're kind of everything. <laughs> We're Irish, British. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so I mean, great. there is, uh, and it's crazy that we just cross uh, an imaginary bo border yeah. and things completely change. Cult yeah. Culture changes, language stays the same, but even like the fucking, the, the, the miles versus kilometers, all that shit changes just over the course of yeah. an, an imaginary line. Uh, but yeah, but uh, it's amazing how culturally then the comedians from the South and the North don't really mix together. I'll tell you though, yes. fucking, you guys killed over there, man. If you, because maybe they're getting bored of the Irish comedians, man. Because mm. I watched, you went down there, like fucking the Northern Irish guy fucking destroyed it, man. Yeah. Destroyed yeah. it. Yeah. But he did start off with a joke about his dad being in Port Leash jail. Because <laughs> <So, laughs> yeah. so, that apparently is where they so locked all you cunts. <laughs> it's very clear that Patty was your support act. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We're, we're not being cryptic anymore. We know exactly yeah. who you're talking about. <laughs> That's awesome. Man. So the strippers, so they came down here hmm. and they pulled their cocks out in a yeah. restaurant. <laughs> yeah. What I also loved is how the girls reacted. Mm -hmm. Like I fucking was blown away because from what I heard, it wasn't just a woo, put a dollar bill no. in their thing. It was like these girls have never seen strippers before. <laughs> Didn't know how to act and turned it into a gangbang movie. I think for a bunch of nice Catholic. Girls, yeah, I think because you just created a fantasy <laughs> for the rest of the world. It's because they've set the standard now. Yeah, I think it's because they they consumed maybe five liters of gin each. <laughs> that also didn't help matters much. I think. Well, you know what? Good on you, ladies. Well, this is the thing. That's whenever what you I say, whenever you watch care. the videos, and this is why I fucking hate this but country. By the way, that's a double standard and then yeah. i'll shut the fuck up i don't mean to talk so much no it but it is a double standard man yeah. because i'll tell you what happened at that strip club if that happened to female strippers and the dudes went in and turned it into a porn money there'd be a lot of fucking arrest it's, for rape i i yeah oh. i've ex i i was talking to my wife about this and, and but, i and, but if it's a dude yeah eh, dudes aren't really Dudes are different when it comes to being, okay, she's, yeah. she's sucking me off, I'll do it. <laughs> do you want me to call the cops, Emmett? Nah, keep the cops out of this, this is cool. What, there's another one? Okay, okay, after eight when I get tired, don't call the cops, call an ambulance and get me liquids. <laughs> That's the I need to rehydrate. I need to rehydrate because I've got another song coming on. <laughs> so anyway, sorry. So funny. But the, the thing, that, that, what I was saying to people was, people were getting upset and outraged knowing it was sleaze and it was all. There was yeah. no, none, none of the women in the audience were like men. They weren't sitting going, oh. No, no. They were all laughing and they were, yeah. you know, it was a... It was funny. And yeah, fucking, it wasn't fucking, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> As they should, though, As they man. Should. Absolutely. Fucking right. They're fucking adults. Yeah. That's like, what happens? What happens then to all of us people? Because what happened? Because you're ruled, ruled <laughs> uh, by a religious group 
of fucking people. So what happens to all the people that aren't religious and don't want to get themselves involved in any of that? They, they move to Scotland. They move to Scotland. Uh, or, or Brighton. Yeah, Brighton. Um, <laughs> but they don't... The, the thing is, it's, it's not really... like we're, It's so difficult here because... Like, even though from the outside it looks like Catholic Protestant, yeah, I would, I can imagine, I don't have a figure, but a good 60 to 70 percent don't believe in any religion, of course, man. But the so problem how do these is, cuts keep in power, then they, how do they, they keep, keep dividing them? Going, do you want to be Irish or do you want to be British? That's what it boils down. It's not Catholic Protestant thing, it's like, do you want to be governed by London? Do you want to be governed by Dublin? But yeah, but and then the reality can't. is, none of the two of them fucking want us. Yeah. <laughs> but but they've, they've convinced us and they've cut a, it's like an indoctrination, brainwashing thing of we need to be against the other, you know. That's fucked it's up. It's so crazy, like, so crazy. It is fucked up because we're so much more in common than we have. Uh, like, we're just two sets of Christians fighting each other. Fuck. That's the one thing that I get. You're not governed by British or you're governed by a, a dude that's named somebody that's probably of the elite class and it doesn't matter who the fuck it is yeah. if he's if he's scottish or british or english or welsh or northern it doesn't fucking matter like do you want to be ruled the only thing that i could ever see is the way uh england like the way england do things which to me Fuck that. England's kind of a democracy. Mm -hmm. So you want to be ruled by a democracy. Yeah. And the question is, of course they do. Of course they fucking want yeah. to be ruled by a democracy. Yeah. I don't yeah. want to be ruled by a fucking Uruguayan from or, or Dogian, whatever that Turkish cunt's name is. <laughs> and I don't want to be ruled by a racist Gert in fucking Gert. What a name for Gert. Right? Yeah, yeah, Gert. Kill fucking these fucking Muslims vote for me. And they did. Yeah. Congratulations. Fucking Gert. Fucking A, man. But, you know, that's all it comes down to, man. Yeah. So, like, who can, like, for the normal fucking person that's just walking around, it doesn't, like, you, you got to get that British thing out of your head. They don't, they don't give a fuck. Yeah, you, 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 what you are, you're being ruled. You're not being ruled. You're living under a democratic state. And that's the only thing that should be important to you. Yeah. Forget what, it's like George Carlin said. You know what I mean? He goes, I like the individuals, but as soon as they start grouping up into two, things get weird, 10. <laughs> and then once they get into, like, fucking thousands, they start getting hats and badges and shit <laughs> yeah. and start hating other people you know so so my thing to you northern Ireland, and i know i simplify it i know it's probably much more complicated than that but fucking you just got to decide man if, if england's got a democracy we'll just go with that who gives yeah. a fuck man yeah i mean, I mean, I mean even though we've never actually elected a prime minister no. Prime Minister doesn't be voted. You don't elect. I don't think we've elected one uh, uh, ever I, because it's just the leader of the, the of the party. It's, uh, there's no not like the president. Oh yeah, you, have, you elect a party. You elect the party, yeah. so it's not even like the presidency in America. It's not you know it's so Nev's coming on there. Look at yeah, that Nev's subtle. He's, in he's there. fucking there, Boom. giving you a hand job there. And uh, <laughs> all right, Evan. <laughs> yeah. uh, so yes, you met Emmett and the pleasure bunch. But the thing is, I mean, this is the the one thing I thought about was uh, I said to my wife about like. Women, can women, cocks become political. Yeah, only in Belfast. <laughs> only in Belfast can cocks become like a political statement for freedom. Yeah, fucking awesome. But I, I loved how some people were, uh, especially some females, were going. Well, no, this is. I mean, uh, it's degrading to the men on stage. I can definitely say. Uh -huh. It's not. It's not. But, I'm a man. Yeah. Okay. I've never said I've ever spoken for a female. In fact, you buy, you cure it. You make me fucking frustrated because I don't understand your language and I don't really understand you, but I love your tits and your bush. And I'm glad that you teach me new ways and new ways to do things, whether I like it or not. But as yeah. a man, trust me, if yeah, you fucking, you're not degrading. I'm not degrading myself. You and know like, what I'm well, doing? I'm getting paid. Yeah. <laughs> if my cock can make me money, yeah. trust me, I would not be a comedian. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. And the, people were saying, oh, uh, you know, could you imagine if it was the other way around? Like you mentioned, could you imagine it was the other way around and men were, were up on the stage? And, and, and I'm like, no, you've clearly never been to a strip club. Yeah. 
men have to yeah. sit on their hands. <laughs> they're, yeah. They're not allowed to touch anything. They're not allowed to go near anything. No. Nope. Every man in the world who has visited a strip club wishes they could do what the Devonish woman got to do. Of course. <laughs> Get up it's on our, the stage afterwards. <laughs> yeah. That's why we have porn up. <laughs> so we can do that kind of in our minds. Um, yeah. This is how you know things are changing. Okay. We are... And this is why I'm so happy. Not happy, I don't watch it, but we, 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 we are starting to make Northern Irish porn. Wow. This things is moving on. I'm not in it, thankfully. I don't have Emmett's uh, repertoire. Okay. But so we now have a couple, because of OnlyFans and things like that, so we've some, some people, not too many, but some are doing it, and I'm like, oh my God, this is changing. Things are changing now because there's no way 10 years ago anybody would have shown their fucking nipple never mind fucking no <laughs> take a load from some boy from dublin <laughs> and i think you're right i think you're right yeah yeah no, of course they would no <laughs> i'm just trying to go fucking you got 10 minutes to get out of my pussy <laughs> huh <laughs> fucking <laughs> fucking a, a bomb warning for the... <laughs> what's a what's a fucking what's a Siobhan, i shove it on in siobhan it on in <laughs> What's a Northern Irish last name? I don't even know. Oh my god. Sinead O'Connor. Yeah. Sinead O'Connor. <laughs> Nothing compares to your cock. <laughs> oh, poor Emmett. Emmett. Poor Emmett. Good, good for them. <laughs> But that's the thing, yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, but I, I like, I, 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 I love, I love having somebody, Vegas. I love having somebody like yourself who's an outsider uh, even outside to the uk and ireland coming in and giving a sort of a viewpoint on things because it must be so fucked up to come here because like you said you you see the difference between the north and south yeah but even so like the funny. smaller towns like your noma and stuff like it's, it must be it must be mind-blowing for you because it's so rare it is rare <laughs> quite but it's strange cool, man it's it was a, cool. yeah it's cool yeah it is cool because that's just the way you guys are doing things man yeah, like i've it? got no stake i've got no horse in this race yeah. of course i don't man but like you do <laughs> and and you can see it is changing man yeah. because in my head i'm going everything you've told me now mm -hmm. i'm going there's no these guys are trying to hold on to power <laughs> but you can yeah. see the cracks are slowly oh, yeah. Yeah. fucking this house is gonna be falling down yeah. very soon but you're still gonna have you're still gonna have that northern irish identity mm. no matter what because it's yeah, always even... it's always gonna be ingrained in you but yeah. it's gotta it's it's gotta get your 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 religion and your politics are like the uh, are intertwined they, yeah they oh, fucking absolutely. are absolutely they, yeah. they totally are yeah, yeah that's why you have you're you're no different than yeah. all them other countries that have their politics and you're no different than islam yeah. or fuck saudi okay. arabia yeah, absolutely. i mean you're more lenient than saudi arabia just a bit just a bit <laughs> i bet but, you saudi arabians can shop at 10 o'clock yeah. on a sunday morning <laughs> you can buy a shirt on a sunday <laughs> Saudi Arabia must come to Belfast and go, fucking thank God I'm in a free Saudi Arabia. <laughs> fucking Christ, this is crazy. Mom, get over here. I'm going to go watch some fucking North, fucking Northern Irish. It's, it's just, uh, like, and this is the thing about how fucking ridiculous it is. Like, it shouldn't matter. It's either one rule or not. It shouldn't matter what type of shop it is. Yeah. It shouldn't, imagine, it shouldn't matter that it's a store that sells clothes versus a store that sells milk. Yeah. It's still purchasing something. Right. But it's okay. To, every other type of shop is allowed to open, but the, the corporates or the big names aren't allowed to open the one o'clock. Oh, <laughs> so if you own your own little shop. If you're at a spa shop or a centra or something. Like what that, if I had fine. Tom's Diner? Fine. So I could open up Tom's Diner yep. anytime I want yep. at whatever time. Anytime. But what they don't want is Primark opening. No. Up. Okay, gotcha. Or Next or Argos. Why? Or I don't even understand that. That's, That's what, what I'm saying. I'd say they're all shops close or none. 
Yeah. I, I don't get what the fucking, yeah, I don't understand. Is what that like is. something from like Cromwell time? <laughs> no, <laughs> like I think... Cromwell came in here and said. Actually, in recent years, I've started to think there's a conspiracy theory behind it. I okay. think <laughs> I, I think they don't want to open it up on a Sunday morning because they can't get the staff to get out of their fucking bed. Oh, I believe that. <laughs> they partied so hard on a Saturday night. That you know can't... what? That would actually make a lot of sense to me. It makes more sense than the fucking I, Christian thing. I do know how the I, Northern Irish drink, because I've drank with you guns. <laughs> and you guys aren't even allowed to... Uh, your bars have to close, too, mm-hmm. at, at like 1... At, at 11. At 11. And then if, you've a, if you have a late license, you open to a 1. Yeah, but that never happens hmm. because after one, they just shut the door to the cops. No, we do not. And everybody just, oh, I've been to so <laughs> many of those where they go. I've been oh, fucking with you. Yeah, <laughs> hey, hey, Tom, the bar's closing. Wink, wink. And then you just shut the door and the cops can't come in. And the cops don't even, they look, they'll walk by the windows and see everybody partying, but the doors are shut. Must be the staff. <laughs> 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 that's so hilarious man i can't wait I, I i can't wait to see how like like i say you guys are just you guys are gonna have such a fun ride yeah absolutely. and the future's mm-hmm. so exciting for you guys man yeah. wait till you get your first black president that's, <laughs> oh yeah or your whatever you know what i mean the first like, black uh, first minister yeah. first minister whatever yeah. trans dude gay guy <laughs> yeah. like just a gay fundamental christian just changing the world man <laughs> I love it yeah i love it too and, and i think the i talked to trudy last night we we're talking about the the podcasts here and uh, uh, like the podcasts here because we're not because we're not BBC tied, you know, we're not yeah. having to toe any line. We can say whatever the fuck we want, as you already know. And and that then is it's a, a kick to the system. Yeah, because if we if there were no podcasts, if you were just just to go by what was on the news and what was on the TV. Yeah. Well, then there was nothing but outrage about the strippers. Of course. But because of the podcast, everybody's like, we're fucking laughing at it. Okay. We're having fun. And that, that softens things a bit. Like, yeah. Well, you're actually, with that said, you're doing better than Canada. Because okay. I heard, like, again, like, I never want to be, don't ever come to me for the <laughs> truth. <laughs> I don't. Okay, I cannot corroborate where I've heard this stuff. I Actually, just say you're in the same boat, yes. I say it at parties to sound smart. Okay, but uh, I heard that Canada was trying okay. to regulate their podcasts because no they're way. worried about what you just ah, said. Ah, okay, because yeah. they're trying to. Uh, because of this word misinformation, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So they're thinking that me and you having a laugh Mm -hmm. fucking might, we might spread misinformation, (laughs) which we obviously would. Yeah, they're worried our misinformation might interrupt their disinformation. Yeah, their (laughs) (laughs) disinformation. And we can't have yeah, man. We need to keep our disinformation <laughs> in line. <laughs> so, so you guys, so actually, <laughs> in Northern Ireland, <laughs> while Canada's going fascist, <laughs> with, you know, without religion, you guys are like, <laughs> we bypass. I bet you there's going to be a point where Canada's here. Canada's going backwards. <laughs> and I'm going to have to go, come on, Canada. Look at Northern Ireland. At least they're <laughs> progressive. Canada's ringing Belfast trying to book strippers. Yeah. <laughs> Can you guys send us over some porn stars? <laughs> Oh, only. Awesome. If only. If only. <laughs> that day's coming. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I don't know what the fuck. Did I drop something? Yeah. What the fuck would I have dropped? I don't care. Your glasses, your kit. Your, what do you call them now, Say You're uh, there. Oh, where? Oh, my fucking <laughs> <kid laughs> <fucking> glasses. <laughs> your kid I bought these. I bought these, but tell me that. Okay, what well, I so put you've these just, on. Yeah, I was going to say, you've described them already, so let's see, exactly let's see what it looks like on, when you put them put on. these on. You're going to love it. I'm either about to kidnap a woman and eat her in an apartment. Or, hey, come, is your mommy around? <laughs> <laughs> it's, 
their Dahmer class. Sort of or either that, or I'm about to start a cult up in Waco. <laughs> <laughs> but I loved him when I You're put him on. I put him on and I went, no, these are them. These are totally them. I want to wear these. Just walking around. Just stand there at a playground with a rucksack mm. with a, a dildo and a packet of Haribo. You betcha. <laughs> hey, ma'am, can I help you get this TV into your car? <laughs> I love evil humor, by the way. <laughs> you always oh, yeah. know that. I, I, you know what? You know that's that's the one thing that I, they can't change for me. No, yeah. Because we already did this last night. Mm -hmm. So all the people, did, I fucking, I hate, I hate the humor nowadays. Yeah, I hate it. I'm, I'm, I'm purposely now fucking crossing the line. Oh, you, Not you just are. crossing the line. Oh, you're. I'm kicking the fucking line out and go. If you don't understand. Yeah that this ain't reality yeah and this is just fucking humor mm -hmm. you're fucking <laughs> dumb and you're part of the fucking problem yeah, absolutely you know like i'm going fuck you <laughs> give me the kid fucking glasses <laughs> fuck off i don't fuck <laughs> like shut up so you just... can't even talk about that <laughs> fuck you and your sexy kid <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, last night you mentioned last night. So last night you you returned to Daly's, which is kind of like a, an annual pilgrimage. Yeah, this I place. love it. I love, I've been um, going there for like th th thirteen years, easy. Th yeah, 12, I think it's years. yeah. We were lucky. I only last missed night. a couple of years. We, we were closed for a couple of years. So yeah. That was the other thing. So, but so we're it's an annual thing now. You're here every year, and we you, you yeah. better be here next year. Yeah, but I mean, oh, you're gonna love next year. You, you, oh. Well, you know, yeah, the, you talk about it last night on stage. I'm not gonna because people are going to go and watch you and stuff. I, I don't care. But I mean, I love the fact you just go. <laughs> you just said everybody. No matter what I say, just know that I laughed at everything that I go yeah. say. Yeah, that's what I, I find it funny. Them. Yeah, I tried to. Ex I like fucking. I, I I've gotten to the point where I go, "Did you laugh at that? Did you laugh at that? Did you?" Of course you did, because it's inappropriate. Like <laughs> I hate that fucking word now, Connor. Yeah. I hear it all the time. That's inappropriate. That's inappropriate. I'm like, okay, fine. It's inappropriate. Whipping my dick out at Poundland. <laughs> okay, I get it. Okay. <laughs> But me telling the story about me whipping my dick out at Poundland <laughs> in a comedy club is totally appropriate. <laughs> it's not only is it inappropriate, the story is inappropriate, but that's the only people have forgotten this. Yeah. That when they go to a comedy club, like all these new, not new, and I don't want to put every time I say this, I don't want to, the direction that comedy seems to be going. Yeah is that people are trying to be appropriate mm -hmm. and say appropriate things but that has never been funny to me that's well yeah it's that's, not funny no yeah. nobody's fucking but if you the, the whole point of going into a comedy club the sacredness mm -hmm. the holiness of going into it is to say the unsayable inappropriate absolutely funny fucking thoughts mm -hmm. that you have on the 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 darkest things you think <laughs> about even the inappropriate light things that you mm -hmm. think about yeah. but don't you bring appropriateness no. into my fucking comedy yeah. church because <laughs> i will fucking destroy you <laughs> and then i'm gonna fuck your dog in front of your grandmother <laughs> you know i won't i'm just saying it but, but you're absolutely funny. right it should be that you're talking about it that's more than a safe space it should be an yeah. unsafe space yeah which is completely secure. Of course. <laughs> you know of course I mean? it is. Like we can say what we want, but it's not about... And I think this is the problem with comedy tired, moving forward, yeah. is you can't... Uh, sometimes context... Comedy's is, actually being dragged back. Yeah, context yeah. is being added where it shouldn't be added. No, and, and you know what? It, yeah, and it's these... And to the jokes, I mean. The context of the room should be... You're in a room of comedy. It should be enjoyed. But the actual jokes, people are going, oh, if that was said in the real world... I was like, no, don't be bringing context. Leave yeah. context out there. This is just a performance. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course you're all going to be appropriate around your fucking grandmother. Yeah, of course. And of course you're going to be appropriate around kids. I don't walk up to... <laughs> my children and go i'm gonna fuck your dog you know like i'm not i'm not i'm gonna go hey buddy how you doing their dog's your dog yeah i'm gonna see the abcs <laughs> and all that you know i'm not gonna do that but i'm gonna when i get to the comedy club i'm gonna go i wish i would have told the kid i fucked the dog because that's funny yeah, you know what absolutely. i mean that's yeah. the inappropriateness of it but you have too many of these guys 
that are fucking making so much money and they perpetuate and they're always the TV dudes. Always, always the TV yeah. dudes that are scared and, and the more that they're scared to say something I'm funny, you make my job a lot harder. So now I'm coming after you. <laughs> I am coming yeah, after you, are, you yeah. and I'm naming and shaming you cunts. <laughs> Trust me, because I got nothing to lose now. Because <laughs> yeah, you've already fucked me, now I'm gonna fuck you. And guess what? You've got something to lose. Yeah. I'm coming for yeah. you. Mickey's golden rule. Yeah. Mickey always says, Mickey's like, you can't cancel something you don't have. Of course, man. <laughs> I saw Josh Whitaker do a joke about hot chocolate the other day and i'm Ugh. like what the fuck <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about my accountant did hot chocolate way to really dig dive deep into that one <laughs> fucking you know what in fact you doing that joke makes me think you're a pedophile because you're making <laughs> kids laugh because you ain't making adults laugh <laughs> fucking they make all the children laugh and get them in the van josh <laughs> fucking fuck you fuck you but <laughs> this is every time I've seen you, every time I see a show, this is the thing. If you haven't seen Tom, go and see Tom. It's not like uh, most of, there's always a, a new show every year. It's always a fresh show. Yeah, yeah, and actually, yeah. when he gets to us, usually it's it's <laughs> usually every time he gets to us, he goes, what do you see next year's? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you have it already done in your head. And that's, well, you uh, know, because I'm always, even while I'm on tour with this one, mm -hmm. right, Connor? And this one is always evolving. Last night, I came up with two beautiful lines that I never had before that I'm going to be doing in Belfast tonight that are fucking okay. amazing. Now I'm going, how come I didn't fucking see that? But within the show... Or are, are you sure it's not the, what, the opening line last night? No. <laughs> Not yet. It's great to be back in Oma. That's a phrase you don't hear it <laughs> often. <laughs> you don't hear often. No, even even last night, like, so I came up, but I'm always writing the next show, right? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm always, when I get back, because after show, that's when I feel the funniest. You know, I either yeah. feel really funny in the morning. Okay. I feel like when I first wake up, or I feel really funny after the show when I'm just lying back. Uh, listening to the show back, going, oh, what could I have said better there? Like, yeah, okay. Like after every show, I I, I go home and, and I'll listen. I'll just listen to it, true to fucking reader book, mm -hmm. and get smarter than I am while I'm dumber <laughs> than the fucking stick. She'll go, let's experiment. Let's find out if Tom will do this. <laughs> fucking just look at me, y'all evil. <laughs> But I'll listen to the show and go, oh, I should have said that, or I should have said yeah, that. I, I like that, doing but, that too, yeah. Yeah, I should have said that. It was actually you. You were the one that told me to do that years, yeah. years ago. You were like, record every set, yeah, listen and, back. And, I, and then I pass that on to every new comedian. I say, record every set, listen back, and think, oh, I could have put something there. I could have put something yeah, there. Yeah, your show will grow exponentially yeah. like fucking few. But even, even today, I was laughing. So this morning, the joke I, wrote, I was writing is because somebody was talking to me. Uh, no, it wasn't somebody who was talking to me. I was watching, I was scrolling, because that's what we do now. <laughs> We're scrolling, <laughs> scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. <laughs> Keep those Instagrams rolling. <laughs> you know, so I'm scrolling, and I saw one because everybody talks about boundaries now. Okay, yeah. Like, the, in the, where I'm 90s, nobody ever said, hey, I need boundaries, no, right? No. And all the kids now... We had are, boundaries here, but they weren't the same type yeah, of boundaries. Yeah, <laughs> they weren't boundaries. In fact, we're trying to get rid of them. <laughs> but I'm going, I, I realized to myself, I don't have any boundaries. <laughs> I'm like the EU of humans. <laughs> Fucking there I'll are, just, there, I'll there, just there are zero no-go areas yeah, with Tom. <laughs> with me, no-go areas. Like, fucking, you know, I have so many any immigrant ideas entering <laughs> my body <laughs> and i know some of the kids are like do you have a visa for that idea to come into my <laughs> and i'm like so that's my newest thought ah, and, and that's so i'm what i can't wait to chuck that out yeah and then the new show do you be tempted like, do you ever be tempted uh, in your current show like like today so you're yeah. going to belfast tonight yeah do you ever think oh Will I try that tonight? Or no, you're no, you're absolutely no, no, leaving no. that for the show. I wait. Okay. I got. I I got it all piling, piling, piling up. It's like it's like a big fucking comedy load that's ready to ready fucking to fuck come it. right out. I'm gonna blow it on. <laughs> Emmett big, style. Yeah, Emmett, I've got a big, <laughs> like, you know when your balls are like you haven't fucked in like 
I haven't comedy fucked in like six months, and they just got a big load that I want to blow all over the audience's tits. And then all they have to do is turn me on by laughing. It's come up, blow it all over their fucking face. Even the so people in the back row are going, fuck, yeah, they're going to go, he got oh me. He God, actually got that me. The religion <laughs> one was just hilarious. <laughs> No. And the real slutty ones are going, oh, that was lovely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, mm, give me some more of that, Tom. Do it again. And I'll be like, I'm like, Josh, man. Get me a ham sandwich yeah. and we'll start. Come yeah. to the late show. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, man. So you've got a few more dates. By the time this goes out, you'll be probably gone by this No. Thing. When does this so go you, out? When does this uh, go out? It'll be going out on, on Wednesday. So you'll probably... On Wednesday. Home. I'll be gone from here. But I've still got a lot of UK dates. And I'm going to Melbourne. I'm going to be meeting Mickey. You're going to be in Melbourne? In Melbourne. This, that's We're going to probably have to fucking do, go do... Because he's probably with Dan Willis and that. And come to the... Mm -hmm. Is he out there with Danny Willis? He's he's no he's going. He, is, or did it, he get is it the Melbourne Fringe? Is it, yeah, he's going to. He'll be there. Yeah. Yeah, but is he? Who's he with? Is he? Is he actually with the Fringe people? Because the Melbourne Fringe people suck. Too. I have no idea. They they, they they also like I'm in it, but I'm with, I'm on the Fringe side of the Melbourne okay. Festival because because the Melbourne Festival is even more wanky because the, all the people that they book are like the wokest like i don't know if oh, okay. you've ever been to melbourne no. but it's so never been to australia woke it's that's why i'm loving it i'm gonna oh, go fuck in there you're gonna, go. gonna go in there and penetrate it <laughs> yeah i'm coming for you melbourne <laughs> like, yeah. yeah no lube yeah just because i because i know there's in. a bunch of people in melbourne <laughs> that are tired of it like i am and i only need 60 of them a night <laughs> yeah that's all you so need yeah. that's all good <laughs> like i i want them to come i want the press i want them to tell me can you oh, believe that well, Tom said uh -huh. that i came off one show last melbourne in the melbourne festival and and some woman went. I can't believe you talk about your wife like that. And I'm like, I just said I was married for 27 years because I'm gonna drag this dead horse to the finish line, <laughs> right? And they got offended at that. Wait till you see this show, Melbourne. You're gonna fucking love or hate me. There's no in between coming yeah, your way. I, there never is. No. There never is. So. Uh, yeah, so anybody, so we do have a lot of listeners in uh, England and Scotland and okay, Australia yeah. as well. So you're in Melbourne for the Fringe. I'm in Melbourne you're, for the Fringe. You do you have, have dates? You don't have them on your offhand. Uh, Tom's, Tom's. Listen, I'm going to places like I think we got Kendall and real meccas like North Allerton. <laughs> okay, like come on, <laughs> if you haven't played North Allerton, I don't want to yeah. fucking know you. <laughs> like Jesus Christ. <laughs> and uh, South End, and, and and just go on any of my Tom State. If you're a Twitter person or an Instagram person, I'm not really on Facebook anymore. Okay. But I explained that. Oh yeah, you, you know, do. Yeah, show. yeah, absolutely. So I'm not <laughs> in Facebook, but go to those two, or you can go to a, my, one of my fa fan pages. Yeah. Which, and if you are a fan, and you, I've always wanted to say this to. I do go and look at the fan page comments, but okay. I don't really like a lot because yeah. and and but I do like them saying stuff, but and I do okay. see it. So just so you know, everybody that's ever he is listen, watching. I'm actually what I'm looking at you. <laughs> I'm looking at you. I won't show you, but I'm looking at you. Um. So uh. So yeah, if you go on there, but. And and like I say, uh, and then we're off to there, and then we'll go to the, the Edinburgh Festival, and, and then we're back. And and I really need you to go and check out my albums on Spotify, man. That's my Absolutely. newest. That's where my domain is gonna be. I've decided. You know what? Everybody's going for YouTube. Everybody's going for a viral video. I'm veering off this fucking pack because I'm watching musicians get like thousands and i don't watch comedians mm -hmm. and you know what i love about spotify the, that is everybody's doing a special which is cool which is awesome but i loved going in my car with my friends and parking out in the middle of donnie gall woods <laughs> and smoking a big joint and listening to comedy albums licking a frog while i'm licking a frog <laughs> like 
the the comedy album i want to bring yeah. that back absolutely i was such a fan of comedy albums i love i don't yeah. want to see the guy man yeah. i don't want to see him i want to hear him now mm -hmm. you know what i mean i want that whole thing to to come back so that's Great. if you're listening to this there's four albums you can catch up on and i guarantee you i've got i've got fucking i've got four albums coming out in the my back pocket that wow. i'm going to release one more every two months and and then i'm going to start like i say i do a new show every mm -hmm. year so it'll be that and plus i've decided i'm going to do like the musicians do put out eps i'm just gonna ask are you gonna do vinyl yeah i'm not not vinyl i'm gonna do like little five minute joke oh, tracks oh little, okay yeah like could, a could track yeah okay yeah that i might not put into an album that i think okay. is really funny or you know you go so i'm gonna treat this spotify like it was the 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 i'm treating it like the musicians treat it okay so i'm gonna go that way and not just spotify by the way there's there's uh a apple itunes go check that out uh <laughs> deezer don't even know what the fuck it is but i'm on it i think it's french so if, if you're licking some french frog pussy and you want you want to check out some deezer with tom on it you go for it and uh yeah so i'm gonna uh, that's where i'm heading excellent i mean i'm not gonna go I, I mean i'll probably be on youtube but i'm i'm the the whole idea of going viral i'll put some out and if it happens it happens but i'm yeah. not planning no. for it but what i am like i say i want if i can get your listeners to fall in love with me through the streaming thing that'd be amazing excellent yeah and i love the fact you're always doing something different i love that i love the fact that you did not follow in the fucking herd and you're doing your own thing and yeah, 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 yeah as yeah. always yeah. yeah so listen what we do is we normally have questions but we didn't okay. ask for any questions because this was yeah. a fucking last minute thing but Let's what we what we've been doing since mickey left is we have a quick quick fire round where okay. we give you either or okay and you have to give us your answer reason why uh don't have to give a reason why just do it quick okay uh and if you don't know what they are you okay. still have to say which one okay okay so straight in tom said sand or sea sand or sea sand red sauce or brown sauce red sauce apple or orange apple poem or song poem shorts or trousers Treasures. De Niro or Pacino? De Niro. France or Italy? France. Obviously. We already know. Obviously. Obviously. Batman or Superman? Batman. White bread or brown bread? Brown bread. Sweat or tears? Sweaty tears. <laughs> <laughs> East Enders or Coronation Street? Fucking East Enders <laughs> all the way. What, what do I look gay? <laughs> Pizza or pasta? Pizza. Long or hard? Hard. <laughs> <laughs> Laptop or tablet? Uh, tablet. Flip flops or sandals? Flip flops. Cheese and onion or salt and vinegar? Salt and vinegar. Radio or podcast? Podcast. Singing or dancing? Dancing. Las Vegas or Bangkok? Vegas. Uh, oh. Las Vegas. Okay. Petrol or diesel? Petrol. <laughs> Sofa or armchair? Uh, armchair. Beef or pork? Beef. Cinema or theater? Cinema. Sweet or sour? S uh, sour. Liam or Noel? Liam. Chocolate or crisps? Uh, crisp. Healthy or wealthy? Healthy. Cupcake or muffin? Cupcake. Deck chair or yums? Deck chair. Fuck you, cunt. Okay, so... Is he yum? I'm yum. Is yum? <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck it, yeah. sorry. You think you would know after listening to us every week? Uh, yeah. so... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Well, big thanks to Tom Steele for coming in and giving up your time. You know uh, what? Thank you guys for your day. I love you. Just so you know, I've been friends with you guys mm -hmm. for way longer than this podcast. Oh, yeah. And I've been a fan of you two for a very long fucking time. We love you. So too. I'm honored that you even want me to be on the show and, and help me promote all this shit. Well, and that's a, that's that's like one of the that's one of the kindest things ever and i and i love you mickey i just listen do, right do, back at you, you we know. fucking love you dude listen thank you very much everybody as always we'll see you next week hopefully mickey might somehow record an episode and break Australia. up with his fucking opener girlfriend and or get back to work <laughs> you lazy piece of shit
fuck you, Bartlett. I didn't say it, but he read my thoughts. Okay, so. <laughs> How many times has he heard that? Fuck you, Bartlett. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Dad. You're just dropping me off at school. <laughs> Fuck out, Bertrand. Let's go and fucking, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Mm. See you next week.